It's September. A flock of spoonbills is on its way to West Africa, where it will spend the winter. From afar, the birds can see the glittering Ostfaders Plassen. They know they'll find plenty of food and rest here. The Ostfaders Plassen is a nature reserve that came about by chance. In 1968, Zadelik Flavorland was reclaimed. Between Almeida and Lelystad, an industrial area had been planned, which was deferred due to the oil crisis. The environment was allowed to develop of its own accord. It turned into a variegated marshland. Later, a drier area with rough meadows was added. 6,000 hectares of wilderness altogether. Unique in the Netherlands, as nature is allowed to go its own way here. In the 70s, the abundance of birds was one of the main reasons for preserving the area. Many birds stay here during their migration. For the great white and little egret, for the bittern, spoonbill, Savi's warbler and bearded reedling, the reserve is the main nesting place in northwestern Europe. From here, bearded reedlings have spread out across other areas in the Netherlands and abroad. One plant that has received a new chance in the Netherlands, thanks to the Oostvaders Plassen, is the marsh ragwort. In the 60s, the grey lag goose was a rare summer bird in our country, until the Oostvaders Plassen developed. Now hundreds of couples breed here. The mewing geese have a big influence on the marshland. They feed on the leaves and stems of reeds. Their feeding habits keep the landscape open. Many animal species benefit from this. Western Europe was originally inhabited by large herbivores, such as oxen, horses, red deer, wissants and elk. In order to let the Ostfaders Plassen develop as naturally as possible, the large grazers have been reintroduced. In 1993, 57 red deer were released. Previously, heck oxen and conic horses had been released. The number of animals has increased significantly. Here you'll find the largest herd of Konix horses in Europe. They only graze in the dry part, which looks more and more like an African savanna. The animals live in a natural way. If a mare is unable to recover sufficient strength due to a suckling foal or a shortage of food in winter, she won't foal. The same happens with oxen and deer. So the number of animals in the area accommodates itself to the amount of food. During the mating season in September, adult male red deer see each other as rivals. After the mating season, the males and females split up, and for the rest of the year, they live apart. Ha! 
Hundreds of animals are born every year. And animals die as well, of course. The number of dead animals varies every year. That mainly depends on the amount of food and on the weather. The Forestry Commission doesn't give the animals any supplementary food. In recent years, almost as many animals died as were born. To prevent needless suffering, the Forestry Commission pays close attention to seriously debilitated grazers. If the forester thinks an animal can no longer recover, he'll shoot it. The carrion of red deer stays in the area and in winter forms a delicacy for carrion birds, such as the buzzard, raven and sea eagle. No wonder this bird has returned. In the spring of 2006, the first sea eagle crawled out of its egg here. This was the first recorded hatch in the Netherlands since the Middle Ages. A dead animal ensures new life. Species such as the raven and scavenger beetle even depend on carrion. In the 1930s, both species had almost disappeared completely from our country. To give the environment even more opportunity to stand on its own, the area is being expanded with surrounding forests. Also, Horsterwald will be connected to the Oostwadersplassen by means of a yet-to-be-developed nature reserve. This will connect the Oostwadersplassen to the Veluwe, the Rhein-Meuse Delta, and even to the Eiffel and the Aden further beyond. In the future, spoonbills will still see the glittering Oostwadersplassen, but they will be different from the way they are now. Some animals and plants will have disappeared and others taken their place. That's how nature works. For humans, there will undoubtedly be even more to see then. It's 2025. A red deer has just finished a long journey. From the Veluwe, it has swum across Lake Veluwe and without hindrance, it has reached the rugged environment of the Oostvaders Plassen. <laughs> <laughs>